Hello guys, uh, this is another video where I'm planning to repair this uh, space heater. So this is a standard space heater uh, which has uh, two buttons uh, minimum max uh, to change the thermostat state settings and then uh, there is another button heat settings. No matter what type of space heater you have, they works on the same principle. And uh, this particular space heater, even though I've already plugged into the power it is not um, uh, turning on or rather I should say that even if I change the settings to heat settings to fan uh, nothing is happening there is no response from this one so basically the way it works is that uh, when you put this space heater on the floor there is a switch at the bottom uh, it's called as the cutoff switch so I am guessing this is so loose and um, it might have broken or it has gone bad so my plan is to see that whether I can um, replace this uh, switch and or fix this switch or see that where the switch is the problem or something else is the problem. So yeah, uh, that's the objective uh, today and this video is all about that one. So first thing first, uh, you have to remove and dis remove it, uh, switch off the power supply coming to the space heater before you are opening it and depends on type of space heater which you have uh, you have to see that uh, how you are going to open it so in this particular case there are a um, uh, couple of screws are there i see one over here and uh, then the rest is basically it's you have to just pry open this cover and once you open it it will <clears throat> it will open up the back side and uh, it will give you the access to the uh, spaces a uh, space heater inside and then we'll see that what exactly is uh, gone bad with this particular space heater so let me grab, grab all the tools and uh, uh, and i think it is uh, just the forehead screw driver is required to open those screws and uh, you know, we will see that uh, what how exactly uh, what exactly the problem is Now opening this um, back cover was quite a challenge. So what I saw is basically you have to take the flathead screwdriver and push little hard. Uh, earlier I was using this small um, flathead screwdriver which is not the good idea. So basically I was able to push this and now it started coming out. So you have to push and then pry to open and it will come out. The plastic is not that good so because of that it's very difficult to keep uh, uh, take this out so now as you see it is coming out from both the sides and hopefully i'll be able to uh, remove this entirely and, uh, and it came out very nicely so that's it and this is what i was referring to earlier this is the switch so if if i keep it over here this is the switch which was responsible for this fan controller right when when it is on the flat surface it should automatically switch on but for some reason um, uh, this fan is not working so i am guessing that this switch is a problem so let me see that what what exactly i can do my plan is to first remove this switch and then try to press that switch manually and see that whether there is a problem with this switch or there is something else is going on in this uh, particular fan. So I was about to remove this cutoff switch and I realized that there is no problem with the cutoff switch because if, if you see closely, when I click this button, then the switch is clicking very nicely. So there is no problem with this cutoff switch. And then I was inspecting the wires and here is the problem if just pay attention to the red wire this is the red wire from the cutoff switch it is going all the way here and when it's getting connected i don't know whether you could see it let me zoom in and i saw some green color and that was the smoking gun because that red wire was burned out and it broke 
so let me pull that wire and show you where exactly it's very difficult over here because so many wires are there so this is the red wire and as you see this wire burned out which is not good and it broke and that is what the problem is and it was connected to this switch and this switch was like the uh, heat set, uh, heat set, uh, heat setting switch it was connected over here through this clamp so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this wire strip it and then attach it and that will solve my problem but most of the time the issues with this space heater is as i mentioned earlier this cutoff switch so let's assume that if this cutoff switch is a problem what you have to do is remove this cutoff switch take the number of this cutoff switch whatever the number is written over here order it from amazon or uh, somewhere else or from ebay it is not more than three four bucks replace that one and that's it uh, your space heater will come back to life so in my case this was not the case so I'm, now i'm going to just replace this wire but this is dangerous that how come this particular wire got heated so much and uh, it burned out it should have not happened i saw i i now know the problem and i'm going to solve fix that problem by uh, fixing this wire maybe once i cut off this one wire or strip this wire it is not going to be it is not going to reach from this point to this point so probably i will land up replacing this wire with the new wire so i remove this fan from the casing and as you see it is now exposing the area which was kind of burned out this is the wire which i was referring so this particular let me show you if I can point it. Yeah. So this wire, which was burned out, it came out from this particular junction. This one or this connector. And this is totally worn out and uh, you, you see that it is coming out. So now I have to connect this wire over here very nicely and seal it so that it won't happen it uh, it won't happen again and this is what i've done uh, basically strip that wire which was uh, burned out connected an additional wire use the heat shrink to cover that uh, connection and then attach this wire over here and as you see there is also heat shrink over here so now it is everything looks good so I'm just going to reassemble this one and see that whether it works or not. Basically, just um, cover this, put the cover back and uh, we are back in business. Thanks for watching. Uh, but um, as I mentioned earlier, this particular switch was not the problem in my case but most of the time 90 per 99 percent times this switch is going to be a problem so that's it